in these current times of rapid change, perhaps it's time to think outside the box. Dreamcast TV. <laughs> You don't have to be a fortune teller or a famous science fiction writer to have a go at predicting the future. We all do it every day, whether it's predicting when the best time to cross the road is so that you don't wind up dead, or predicting what subjects at college or stocks and shares are going to make you rich, successful and happy forever after. It's interesting trying to... Uh, predicts which inventions and technology are going to uh, technologies are going to revolutionize the world the most fascinating thing about mass media is that as well as being a kind of giving us a reflection of the real world it can also influence the real world as well and so what a science fiction what science fiction writers put in their books or uh, journalists including their magazine articles or tweets can become self-fulfilling prophecies since it focuses the public's mind and inspires future budding scientists so let's make some predictions ourselves such as internet skin which will mean you'll only need one set of clothes and you'll be able to download the latest patterns fashionable patterns and colours from the internet directly onto your electronic skin spreading fashion trends in minutes rather than months or what about a bit of good old time travel using photosiv to create seamless 3d virtual worlds using old postcards a collage of old postcards and vintage photos if you haven't seen those videos that I've done please check them out when you have a moment and subscribe to my channel also let us know what your future predictions are by leaving a comment or a video response it's always interesting looking back at predictions and seeing which ones were accurate and which ones were a little bit way off the mark like on these original 1936 cigarette cards issued by Stephen Mitchell. Here's an interesting one. The Germans were developing rocket mail. Of course, they certainly weren't sending over love letters when targeting their V1 and V2 rocket bombs at London during World War II. And then we have some space-themed ones. They were a little bit optimistic in their estimations of the space program, perhaps. We certainly don't have bird men flying and commuting to work every morning, either. Although I can quite see, I can quite see psychopathic robotic soldiers fighting in wars in the near future. And they're already uh, making headway in the field of thought detecting uh, machines that are ideal for those without the use of their limbs and also uh, novel computer games and the military uh, obviously used parachutes to drop paratroopers behind enemy lines soon after this set was issued in World War II without the um, visionaries who came up with the idea of television broadcasting YouTube probably wouldn't even exist uh, wind power dates back to before the Industrial Revolution, but with the threat of the end of the world every five minutes, this and other types of alternative energy are being taken more seriously these days, including solar energy. This car predicts uh, that we might get limitless energy from nuclear power. Little did they know how difficult it would be to deal with the dangerous radioactive waste afterwards uh, thanks for checking out my video and see you soon and don't forget to check out my other technology and sci-fi videos including these four thanks for watching